Hi, welcome to IT Security Labs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the graphs that you're taking here, that you're looking at right now. This is my graph uh, in my home lab. And I decided to track down the power usage that I'm getting and also find out what my cost is. As you can see, I came to $12. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. If this is what you're looking for, this is a great video for you and you will enjoy it. And if you follow my steps, you'll be able to actually create your own and actually have this and more in your own lab or even at work. So without wasting time, let's get to it. My lab runs in one single server. It's a hosting a VMware ASXi, as you can see here. This is um, a Dell PowerEdge R710. And as you can see from the summary here, I have about uh, 96 gigs of RAM and also uh, I'm using an external NAS in addition to all the storage. So this is my uh, Dell Power server. I wanted to know how much power this thing is taking and if I should run it 24-7. And what better way to show that power than graph it in Grafana because Grafana is this wonderful graphs. So without wasting time, I'm going to show you how you are going to be able to create these graphs. First thing that you want to do uh, is end up uh, with an installation of Grafana. As you can see on my YouTube channel, I have a step-by-step -step video that will show you how to install Grafana, Docker, and InfluxDB in 10 minutes or less, this one right here. Well, it's also the same one here. You want to follow those instructions. As long as you have a CentOS VM up and running, you'll be able to follow the instructions. Pretty simple. Get your Grafana installation done. Once you have a Grafana installation done, you can watch other videos to create um, usage for your VMs and all that. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to bring these metrics from my iDRAC uh, environment here all the way to Grafana. I'm actually not going to be pulling from iDRAC. I'll be doing that in the next video where I'll be showing the fan speed and uh, uh, the voltage and temperatures in a different uh, video. This one is very simple. It's pulling use, using uh, uh, Grafana, InfluxDB, and Telegraph. Graph client comes with um, a plugin that will pull all this information for you. So if you go right here, you can see, this is the Telegraph uh, GitHub location. It will show you how to install and you can even uh, find the documentation right here. You can read a little bit more about this if you want, but there's a plugin that would pull this information from your vSphere environment all the way straight to Grafana. So no need to worry about that. If you want to verify that that information is accurate, I can just go here in my uh, iDRAC, which is the source for this, just to try to find out how much power is my Dell PowerEdge using for real. And it does not, that number actually corresponds to what's going to my Grafana. So uh, under the power uh, status, power consumption here, it's showing me that uh, in the last hour, I used 149, right? That's what it's saying. If I go to my Grafana, I can see that that's exact number so i actually can trust the telegraph plugin so go ahead and find out more about telegraph once you're comfortable with that or if you're not just follow my other video and you end up here then once you have this information how do you create the graphs so that you, they can end up looking like mine or i will just show you that that right now we'll start with this 24 hour total power usage you want to be able to find that data the first thing that you want to do is go to create dashboard we want a single stat then do an edit then once you are here if you have your installation done and everything you should have the metrics in your database so what you want to do is just do this simple sql query pretty much sql query but it's in here so you don't have to worry about writing the syntax and all that we're selecting from this will be pre-populated after your installation and what we want is vSphere host power, where then you want to say ESXi host, then you can choose your host, I have one, like you saw. 
then uh, I want the total of the power, right? So the value here is power average. But so what's, what it's doing is averaging power every hour, right? So, but I, I, instead of the mean, I want the sum. So aggregations, sum. As you can see, I can leave the, everything the, the same and I already have the power up here. So as you can see, it's 2,159 watts. That's over six hours. So let's change that to 24. I have 6,354. This is in watts. But of course, it's the same number that you call watt hour because it's over 24 hours, right? So that's uh, the total usage over the last 24 hours. As you can see the range here. So just from here, it's just a matter of making this look nice on the dashboards. That's where you can just go to your, your um, options tab, unit. Then uh, under unit, you want to select energy. Then what? So what that does is it make, converts it to kilowatts for you. So once you have that, all you have to do is uh, you want to show a gauge, I'm assuming. And for me, see, since I know that I'm around that 6,000 range, I want to put a cap to this. So I'll say it's out maybe 10,000. Now I actually have a gauge. So I know how far I am from 10,000. Then from here, you can even you know change the colors and all that. Otherwise, you just name it, you know, total power. Well, last 24 hours. So this is in real time. My server is actually monitoring this in real time. So this kind of change fluctuates a little bit, but it's pretty much consistent right now for my lab. After this, just hit save and your graph would show up in your main uh, dashboard. After that, if you want this one that says average power usage DLR 710, it's the same thing. You just go in here, you create you go and create a new one. You want to choose the same ESXi host, just like what we did for the total, but you just leave this one at mean and the time series. And under options, you also want to change it to watts. And if you care about the gauge, just go ahead and create the gauge. So that's pretty straightforward. Where it gets even more interesting is when you are talking about the cost. So now we can talk about the daily power cost and um, energy in kilowatt hours goes power times time divided by 1000. Power times time divided by 1000. If you go to my graph, this is kilowatt hour because this is total over 24 hours. So this is going to be my hourly average is added over 24 hours. And the, the graph automatically divides it for me into uh, by 1,000. So that's why we didn't do any calculations here. When you go to our daily cost, which is what we're going to create right now, you will notice that uh, you want to go through the same way, go ahead and create a dashboard and choose uh, a single one. And once you are in, where you're looking at your settings, you want to choose the same from here, vSphere horsepower, then um, you choose ESXi host, or you can choose whatever, um, or even a host if you want it, then you can choose the server. But right here, you choose the power average like we've been doing, and we want the mean, because what we're doing is we want the average per hour, right, we're pulling the hourly average usually for me is 149. Then uh, we want that to be multiple to be multiplied by 24 hours. Then I'm multiplying by 0 0.11, which is my power cost. This is very important. I'm I'm rounding mine to this one, June through September. Even though I'm down here, I just want to see the worst case scenario. This is the most expensive one, so I'm rounding it to 0 0.11. So if you go here. I'm choosing math and for you to get this you just go here and then uh, you choose math then you get this little section 
So I said I'm <coughs> multiplying by 24 hours, multiplying by the cost, and I'm divided by 1,000 to make it a kilowatt hour, following this calculation right here. Because power is because uh, electricity is equals uh, power times time divided by 1,000. So that's what I'm doing right here. Power, which is my average, times time, 24, times, I mean, divided by 1,000. And that multiplied by the cost of my electricity will give me my daily cost because this is power average over 24 hours. So that's it. That's how I'm, I'm getting to this. So I'll write this down in a tag somewhere on this screen. But that's exactly what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. And to get your monthly graph, you can just do the same thing, except you're going to say times 30, this value times 30. So that's how you get to your monthly. So it's very simple and straightforward. Just um, to show you the monthly estimated cost, it's the same, like I said, I'm multiplying 30 days in a month, 24 hours, times how much it cost, and this is the average. This is how I'm getting the mean. And if you've been following, that's exactly how you would get these three graphs. So guys, I enjoy labbing at my house. I enjoy uh, showing my employer uh, what I can do and also testing different things. So if you're interested in things like this, where you play around or you wanna create beautiful graphs with Grafana, this is something I'm very passionate about. Go ahead and subscribe. I try to post two videos a week, if not three sometimes, if I get excited like this week, on Saturdays and Tuesdays. Saturdays and Tuesdays, you're guaranteed, at least if I try my best to make sure that you get wonderful content out there. And on my YouTube channel, I already have a bunch of other graphs from Grafana that you can check out. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And I really appreciate that uh, a lot of people are subscribing. As you can see, I'm almost at 200 subscribers in two months, which are for YouTube is, you know, a little bit more. So I appreciate you spending some time. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your graph.